Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Martin and today we're going to have a look at the Frozen Sonic Mini 4K. So let's get started. On the box we can see a picture of the printer and the words Sonic Mini 4K. Other than a few shipping labels, there's not a lot of information. So let's just get this box open up and see what's inside. The build plate is machined out of one solid piece of aluminium, so that means no open cracks for resin to get stuck in. This makes it very easy to maintain and keep clean in the future. It does have a very smooth underside, which will need to be sanded a bit first to make sure we have the best possible adhesion. So let's do that first. This is probably the nicest looking lid I have seen yet on any resin printer. It almost having a cola like color to it, which makes it very aesthetic to look at. However, it is still a lid that needs to be lifted off the printer, which does require you to have a little bit extra space over the printer where you install it. The build plate can easily be removed or installed by turning the big knob on top. Same goes for the resin tank, just unscrew the two nuts on either side and you can lift it off. Having a closer look at the vat, we can see it's made out of solid aluminium and does come with a pre-installed fab. I do miss a max fill line, but that's a minor thing. On the front we have the touchscreen where you control the printer. We can see it has a linear rail for the Z-axis, which gives a good and stable movement and ensures the layers are being aligned perfectly. If we move the printer around, we can see it has holes for ventilation as well as a USB port. On the back we find a fan for active cooling of the UV, power switch and a power socket, as well as a sticker with some technical information. The screen of the printer is 6.1 inch and it has a resolution of 3840 by 2160 true 4K with 722 pixels per inch giving it the highest resolution on the market. So the printer is called a mini, does that mean it's tiny? Well let's compare the build plate with some of the other known brands. Let's turn the printer on and start the build plate calibration. Before we can get printing, we will need to calibrate and level the build plate. So first we will have to remove the tank, untighten the build plate by loosening the two bolts on either side.
please always refer to the quick start guide for leveling of your build plate. Calibration is now done. With the printer, Frozen also sent me a bottle of the new Aqua Grey 4K resin, which is a resin specially made for the 4K printers for best possible details. As always, let's give it a quick shake. And now we are ready, so we can start the first test print. If you're searching for your first 3D resin printer, or you just want an additional printer for your setup, the Sonic Mini 4K might just be the perfect printer for you. It has the highest resolution LCD screen on the market and a great aesthetic design. The quality of print is very detailed and the overall print experience is very user friendly. I'm really glad I have this one in my collection. As always, thank you guys for watching and see you next time.